Today is a special video. I would like to talk to the individuals and how not to get yourself lost in the world of corporations. I want to talk about this because I am talking to employees and people and managers and leaders, everybody. I call employees like everybody because everybody is an employee, including the CEO. And they, all they can see is work or they are lost. They are lost in so many different ways. And I want to help. I want you guys to, to I want to give you some help how not to get lost because I think we all been there. You get so caught up in what's going on and it eats you up. And then that's the result. Oh, this is the source of burnout and all that. So the burnout is just the symptom. But the reason is because you, 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 get, you got caught up. So this is what I would like to talk to you about today. We have a cup of tea. So it's a very special topic for me because I always, I like to think, I always guided my younger people at work and coached and mentored because I saw them being lost. And this is what I would like to start with. Um, that all the people are lost at work. They are lost in life and lost in so many different ways, but let's stay with work. And organizations don't acknowledge this. They are just pushing their training, their onboarding, their competency. We fit you in here. You don't behave this way. Da, 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 da. And, and they don't pay attention to what is happening to the workforce. Lost people are not going to respond to your training initiative, to your development program, to your retention strategy, to your bonuses. They are not going to respond to anything that you are doing. And, and you will think that, oh, I'm failing my strategy. No, your strategy only failed because you failed to look at what's going on with the workforce. Now, you know me, I'm always about employee experience. I'm always about, let's know the people, what are their struggles, what they are dealing with, and then we can create a strategy. But it's not happening. And I would like to start, I have notes. I made notes for you guys because this is a very serious topic. Now, don't get into the victimhood mindset because you know me that I don't tolerate that. <laughs> No victimhood, it's just life, right? And, and talking about the problems. But, um, and one of the reasons, I was just with somebody on a um, Ditex conference or whatever exhibition, and I met a friend and we were talking that the moment we put people into these corporations, all of our, these companies are killing all of our natural instinct and inclination and everything that Mother Nature has given to us, right? This call for adventure, this curiosity, this, this um, um, natural um, desire to invent and test and try and make a mess and all that, right? And so corporations are not a healthy environment for human beings. And we... We don't talk about it. And most of our problems come from that, from the environment. We should not be in sitting in glass buildings. Now, there are studies, if you want to look them up, what, what it does to human beings. So this is the problem. So the environment is already not great. But that's, this is what it is. We need to deal with it. This is how we make money. This is how we keep the lights on. So let's not you know, say, okay, then I'm not doing it because what's the alternative? So that's a stupid strategy, right? That's a no strategy. So we have to keep doing it. But this is where you come into the picture, right? And knowing who you are. So my first point on my note, what can help you not to get lost in the world of corporations is knowing who you are. And that's a challenge, especially for younger people, because their sense of, sense of who they are, 
their other their self awareness their personality you know in terms of understanding themselves is not fully formed and that's why i never been so hard on young people because they are lost and that's okay they lost in the sense they don't know who they are i mean you don't know who they, who you are it's really difficult to operate in any environment right but that comes with times so or time and and that's okay but in the meantime what we need to do and maybe here talent development professionals can come into the picture and first acknowledge that the environment that we are keeping people is not great for their mental health for their in and that's why i hate mental health program i hate them with the passion because they are trying to fix you in an environment that is not good for you no <laughs> i <laughs> these guys trigger me that there is no other thing in life that triggers me the mental health gurus like this. stay away from people okay and if i had a mental health issue it's not you the corporate the mental health guru is gonna fix me anyway now go back to the topic but know who you are because when you know who you are, you can't be swayed and influenced to do things that you don't want. And to don't want in a way that is not really necessary, maybe the, uh, related to your job, because you have to do your job. That's not what I'm talking about. But knowing who you are in terms of what time you go home. I know people, they know who they are, six o'clock, I'm going home, I have two children, and that's my priority and that's who I am so it's not only what is my priority but who I am I'm a family person I'm a father I'm a mother and I'm going bye and when you find people like that nobody questions them why they are go home why they go home on time nobody everybody accepts it why because those people know who they are and nobody can question who you are and we actually respect that. And it comes down also to, in terms of who, knowing who you are, training initiatives. Um, for example, you can't drag me into a mental health workshop. I know who I am. I know that I don't have any issues. So why are you dragging me into it? Um, in terms of playing games, the whole book that I wrote about this, right? I'm not going to play games. This is who I am. Give me the topic. I will read it. I will study it. I will learn it. You can test. You can assess me. Don't make me play games. That includes team building activities. Some people don't want to go, especially outside of working hours. Some people don't want to go for an um, after work drink. And those people who are very clear about it, because this is who they are, they tell you and you, we all respect it we don't label them as not the team players but we say oh yeah Sylvia doesn't like that and we acknowledge that and there is no negative labeling to those ones it, with those people who know who they are and so know who you are in terms of getting receiving feedback in terms of any, everything that we do in organizations, right? In terms of what you get yourself into. I never gave money to anybody's, you know, oh, Steve needs a retirement plan. Jessica is giving. I don't give a shit about Jessica and Steven. I'm not giving money. If I need to give this money to somebody, I'm sending it to my brother or somebody who actually needs it. And if Jessica and Steve is my friend, then I will buy them regardless of the company is asking me or not. And these are the small little things that people get caught up. And these small things do add up. And all of a sudden, people feel that they are being violated. Their, their core belief, their beliefs, their principles, their whatever they believe, their, you know, their private time being invaded and violated. And then all of a sudden, when I'm being violated constantly, me as a person is disappearing and we don't like that. So that's an issue. So know who you are. And the second part of that is 
learn how to express it because you can't just go around oh i don't do this i don't do this this is who i am da, da, da. no that's not how corporations work learn how to communicate that and you can tie that nicely look guys I'm gonna go for me it's my family i don't like outing i i don't really show up for outing i show up once a year and everybody respects that because i say guys you know me i'm not you know i i, I can't be bothered with these kind of things i'd rather go home and you present it in a nice and pleasant way and and people will understand so that's first part you know know who you are and don't be afraid to say it but say it in a way that it will be received sometimes we struggle with it i had to learn that we we probably all have to learn had to learn that right but that will help you the second point is know why you are there and here this is a big topic i don't want to keep the i don't want to make this video long but this is a massive topic know who why you are there and because when you know why you are there why you're doing what you're doing you have a goal and when you have a goal you have you see the light at the end of the tunnel and this is what actually people need timeline time frame and pay attention that um, hr professionals because when it comes to talent retention talent uh, talent retention that's a massive miss we don't pay attention to people's need for time frame and if you actually paid attention to people especially the younger generations they are very vocal when am i going to be promoted when am i going to be when am i going and even sometimes i'm like jesus lord you just joined the company but it's not that they are impatient don't mistake them that with impatience is that they need the timeline because now they are doing something willingly they are willing to do this shitty job in order to get there so we need to appreciate that but they need to see the end of the the, the light at the end of the tunnel because when we don't and we have studies on mice on uh, um educational studies in educational in institutions right on these things when people understand and even in a london underground the uk train um why do you think the time is being displayed in in train station and all that because people know 10 minutes okay cool and that's it they are calm they don't mind waiting as long as they know how long they have to wait so when you have these conversations and that's why i always say talent development and talent pipeline management should be literally timed somehow now it's very difficult i don't have the recipe to do that i need to work this one out but if i tell you like these elevator programs or you know fast track accelerator programs in management they work the, the retention rate is very very high why because people say join this program in a year and a half two year you will be a manager people are happy to do it so when people join they are happy to do that but they need to know how long and i think that's fair that's valid because we need that too and i think when you don't know why you are doing something then you don't have the goal and if you don't have the goal you don't know when you get there so then there is no end light at the end of the tunnel and this is where burnout and stress and all that comes into the picture because people are just in this loop okay i'm going to work okay but why am i going to work okay i need money to pay the house okay how long can i take how long is it going to take okay the next 10 years fantastic i need to work for the next 10 years. now i have a reason that there is the end 10 years okay fantastic all of a sudden it's not that big you can comprehend you can accept you can see that through the human brain the brain needs clarity and when it doesn't have it creates stories and then you have depression anxiety and all the bullshit that we are talking about today right so the lost people in corporations and so when you know that then it's easier 
And then one more thing I would like to add to it. Come back to the retention rate before that. So in, in um, universities, they sought the new joiners, students down and asked them to write for three hours, whatever. Why they chose that course? What they wanna do with that degree? What are their plans for the future? Five years, 10 years, whatever what they want and so on and so on. And when they did that, their grade, academic grade went up and the dropout rates went significantly down. Maybe we can do that in organizations. Why the hell do you wanna work here? Don't give me the bullshit of, oh, I like the company's vision. Nobody, nobody, okay, nobody. I think the why do I, why would you like to work here? It should be a very personal question. Because when people's only goal, it may be career development. Look, in five years, I want to be a director. Fantastic. That person has something. But if it's just a wishy-washy something, you know? Mm. Or some people might say, I actually love my job and I want to put my skill in here because in that particular place where I am today, I can't utilize my skill, but I can do much more. So I, I think this place is, is for that. That's good. Okay, what is the skill girl that you are bringing here? How can we test it? And from then onwards, if you are a good employer, you start taking notes because now this is what you're gonna have to do with that person. Because then you, fix, uh, you, you join the why with the, what the per, with the what in terms of what the person is going to do. Because if you miss that, again, that person is going. So I think maybe this part in the interview question, why do you want to work here? It should be about the person, like fully and not accepting any bullshit, you know, that the company is great and, and, and all that. No, I want to make money because I want to pay off my mortgage in the next five years. Beautiful. And completely and constantly reminding that person. And maybe you know that that person is currently motivated by financial um, rewards. So how can I manage the person's performance with that incentive? Can I bring more out of that person if I give more money? It's so easy, yet so difficult because it's so many of you, bloody employees. Um, but, um, and the last one I would like to add is, is to the employees. I started this video that I want to talk to the employees and I, I keep talking to the employers. Well, it's for you guys as well. Um, know who you are, know why you are there, right? And organizations, you need to leverage that. You need to have this conversation. Why the hell are you here? Um, and the last one is know when you need to leave. And when you need to leave is probably and this is where also organizations make a mistake. We keep motivating and pushing people with things that they are no longer motivated. And the reason they are no longer motivated by is because their learning has plateaued. I was just talking to this friend today and it was so clear. And he goes like, oh, I've got so bored. I'm busy at work, but I'm so bored. And even if they offered me this directory role, I would be so bored. I'm like, yes, because your learning has plotted. That place has taught you everything. And this is why I started this video that employees are so lost because we have taken everything away from, from them in terms of what mother nature has given. Because learning is pl learning plateaus out. And from then onwards, there's no motivation. Unless the person is now buying something and now needs money that you can do. But if the person is motivated by learning and growth and there is no more growth and learning, and here I'm not talking about position or learning another skill or send them to another course. That's bullshit. Nobody is going to be motivated by that. It's literally sometimes, and you employees, you individuals need to acknowledge that in you. 
Sometimes learning is going to another industry. Sometimes learning is going to choose another profession and start from the beginning. Now you don't want to do that because of your financial situation, but just then you need to acknowledge that, hey, intellectually, I will not be challenged. I will be bored as hell, which is going to demotivate me, which is going to probably cause me a lot of depressive days and being bored of life and oh my God, rah, 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 rah. and then you get into stupid behavior, drinking and whatever. Because now you are looking after your finances, which is fine. Sometimes that's what we need to do. But you acknowledge that. And you need to acknowledge the fact sometimes when you need to start and being challenged intellectually again. Because this is what balance is in life. The next five years is all about money. I need to put up with it, but I'm not going to complain about my employers. I'm not going to end up on a mental health workshop because I'm, you know, I'm depressed. Know why you are depressed because you put yourself in this situation because now you are prioritizing your finances, which is valid. You need to pay that mortgage or the kids schooling, but that's why you are there. That doesn't mean you need a mental health workshop. You just need to acknowledge and know why you are doing it because then you immediately, ah, okay, this is why I'm doing it. And in five years, I'm changing career and I'm going to challenge myself intellectually or again. Can I do five years? Yeah. In the meantime, even if it's shit and I'm bored, is this something that I can do to make it better? Yeah, I'm gonna go and start playing tennis during the weekend, whatever there is. So the responsibility is on the individual in terms of not getting lost in the world of corporations because it is, it is a big thing. And just learn as a young person, can I go back very quickly to know who you are and why you are there? As a young person, just understand that you are not equipped with the skills, technical, soft skills, to manage this complex environment. And that's okay. That's why you need guidance. I love guiding these guys because I know that they are not equipped. I know you think you are, you are not. And that's why you are dropping out and you just, oh yeah, it's not for me. It is for you, but you are not doing it because it's difficult and you don't have the skills. And that's why it's difficult. So the, at the first hurdle, you are out. Well, if you are always getting out at the first hurdle with anything, you're never going to get to the end of it. Go through it is difficult. You are learning skills. You are learning the politics. You are learning the hierarchy. You are learning how to play the politics to your advantage. Use these corporate environments to your advantage. You can learn so much. Are the, are the days where it's a complete shit show? Oh, hell yes. <laughs> But you can learn from that and you can actually laugh at that like oh my god is this what i'm getting paid for that six figure money salary this is what you're giving me for that now i'm sitting here doing access sheets all day fantastic i'm doing my access sheets you give me that six figure girl i'm doing anything because i'm building my life outside so yes it is a shit show and you don't always do what you want to do or what what you would like to do but Use it to your advantage and you can only use them to your advantage if you know what you want and who you are. If you want that job, okay, I'm doing this for now. If you know who you are, you know that, you know what, I can do this. I'm, I'm made for, for that, right? You can learn so much skill and then once you get your skills, your knowledge, your expert, expertise and experience, you can go and do your own business, your own thing. You save up money, use them. But when you don't know why you are there using them, because they are using you as well, this, this, I, that's how it goes. Then you, don't, you feel immediately better because then you go, okay, go next two years. I did my, my second master's on company payroll, 60% of my studies was in the office, done in the office. <laughs> they didn't pay me for my qualification. They hired me for a job that I was completely unqualified for. I'm like, okay. So I'm like, I will pay for my masters, shit loads of money, but I'm going to study during working hours. And I did, I didn't miss my work. I did all my work, but I'm very efficient. 
60% of my studies probably was during working hours. So I studied on the clock. I use them. So they use you, you use you or use them. Know why you are there, leverage your situation instead of just crying that it's too hard. It's only hard because you don't have the skills, the knowledge, the expertise, so you need to get that. And it's only hard because you don't know why you are there and who you are. I hope this helps. I didn't mean to offend anybody. <laughs> but this is what I see and this is how I like to guide my young guys and they receive it very very well so i hope you guys receive it to uh, receive it well as well and that's the system play the system that wasn't built for you and that's how we're gonna close it bye